Panola.com, Matthias Picun, Jared Rosa here with a couple of the senior standouts from Letcher State Championship t team this year. Sully Lesh, Ben St. Pierre, and these guys will be staying together, signing with Nichols State on Wednesday. And with with a high school career that y'all had as, as many ups and downs, I guess, at times, with some of those years where the team had a lot of injuries and, and it wasn't quite the year y'all were looking for, to then go out on top and now have a chance to continue it at the next level. What is that? What is that like for you? What is that going to be like on Wednesday? Oh, it's, it's a great feeling to know that uh, one of my best friends I get to play at the next level with. But uh, a lot of people went down this year, and the coaches left it up to us to determine our season. So me and Ben, we had to step up and play both sides of the ball, and that's exactly what we did. And we had to go. We knew in order for us to be able to win games and to get to the state championship, we had to play both sides of the ball. And uh, it's a dream. Everybody wants to go play at the next level, and then to be able to be there and be in the same dorm as my buddy that we played in high school with and going to the next level, just, it's a great feeling. How much was that something y'all talked about as y'all heard from some, some coaches from Nichols and from some other schools, the opportunity of getting a chance to stick together maybe for another four years? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I mean, I never really thought about it until it really happened. Yeah. Until Ben texted me that day saying, I'm going to Nichols with you. Yeah, it was a great feeling. I didn't think we would. I thought he was going to go to a bigger school or something and then we ended up both committing to Nichols, and it's just crazy how it worked out. What was the day that you committed, I guess, about like a week and a half ago now? Um, what was that like for you? What were some of the things that really impressed you about Nichols, and, and what was kind of the reaction with the family and all that type of thing? Well, Nichols is a smaller school. It's a great family school. Um, I know Coach Rebo is turning that program around. They started winning games towards the end of the year last year, and I'm excited to see what's in the future for Nichols football. And then you call him, and he said he was kind of surprised, didn't really expect it. What was his, what was Sully's immediate reaction? When oh, he, he didn't believe me at first when I told him. He was like, man, you lie. And then he was excited that we were going to be able to spend four more years together playing football, doing what we love. What were some of the things that, that you initially liked when, when you were talking to the Nickel State coaches and getting a chance to learn a little bit more about that program? Just how much family they bring into you, how much they actually care about you. Because it's kind of a small school, but no matter what, they're always going to have your back. It's not like a LSU or somebody, just a number out there. It's, it's not just they, about football, it's about the, your life and about you. It's not just everything about football. They actually care about you and take everything you do into consideration, take care of you. What's it going to be like to to sign and everything and then leave and, and look at all those juniors that will be back next year? What's kind of the, the message to them and the uh, how do you guys feel about the hands that you will leave the program in now? Oh, it's going, it's going to be left in real good hands. I mean, I know Coach Tim ain't going to be there next year, but whoever's going to take it over is going to do the exact same thing. Yeah, it's a tradition over here. They going to, the guys that we have left on the offensive side of the ball, especially they they know what it's been like for four years, and they, they learn from us how to be a leader. And it's going to be an exciting year for them. And you, I guess, Sully, you just made a pretty interesting point, too, with that state championship game being Coach Dettilier's last game of such a long and storied career. What is that like for you guys to know that y'all won that state championship in his last game and now y'all will be his you guys and uh, Destin will be his last signing class? Well, it's an honor. I mean, to know he's been doing it for so long now and he just decided that he wanted to come out with us. That really shows how much we put into the uh, program and he really cared about us. Same sort of thing. I'm glad that he was able to go out with a state championship because I think he knew he was going to retire this year, but at least he got to go to one more state championship and get another win in the Superdome. Is it special for him? There you go. A couple of the Lutcher Bulldog standouts, not only this year, but these last several years. Sully Lesh, Ben St. Pierre, uh, looking forward to going and joining the Colonels down at Nichols State. Nola.com and Tom speaking to Jared Rosen.